because because I was talking to Scalpel about it, and he was like talking to me about his arrow and this and that, and he was like, "Man, I, I really like the stock arrow loadout with the badgers or like the, the the little lasers on top, and the scorpions." And he was like, "I was running it that way," and, and I was like, "Man, you should really try these mantises." And he was like, "I don't I don't feel like I get a good hit, you know? I don't get I feel like I get I don't get a good DPS chain," and he's right. He doesn't with his arrow because he's not using rockets. So let me show you this. I figured this out last night after doing some testing. Um, this is actually pretty funny. So rockets give you a major, 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 major advantage in this game. Okay, And I was shooting rockets at that, that constellation now, but it's not the fucking rockets or the damage that is the most overpowered thing about rockets. Okay. It's actually the weapon conversion, like the um, the new uh, auto conversion that they added into the game. So all your your weapons hit at one point, right? That's what makes rockets overpowered. And I'll show you. I'll show you right now. So we're gonna wait for our NPC to spawn. And uh, hold on, let me turn on my handy dandy mantises here to one. Uh oh, we have a small pip. That's a really small circle. Jeez, that circle's so tiny. It's gonna be really hard to hit. You gotta like aim in there and shit. Just a little bit to the side of it. Oops, missed. Jeez, that's a small little circle, isn't it? I don't want a small circle. I hate small circles. We're not gonna do small circle styles. We're going to do large circle styles. How do we get large circle styles? We just put fucking rockets on. And now, I'm going to have a reticle that's twice as big because of auto convergence. Right. No small circles past this line anymore. So, this is also one thing I was like, oh, this is really cool. Like, so I can use these size threes with like a fucking giant pip. This is awesome. Thank you, Weapon Convergence Dev. I appreciate you. You are the best. The only guy in 3.5 that actually made something good. Oh, look at our fucking pip. Jeez. It's so big now. Can hit that pip all day. Hit that pip all night. And this is what rockets give you, really, is just giant pip. And I mean, you can hit outside the pip. I'll try to hit just outside of it for you, just to show you that I hit. See there? I was aiming at the lines. Um, it's not like it gives you, <laughs> like, just a, a an illusion of a bigger pip. The, the pip actually is bigger. <laughs> Like, the aiming area is actually bigger. So, just wanted to show you guys that, first of all. That's a huge change, right? So you want to kind of help yourself any way you can there. Um, on the other side of things... On the other side of things... Um, I'll, we'll drop it down. We'll drop it down real quick. We'll go for the drop. Uh, scorpions. Oh, that was already equipped. My bad. So now we're dropping down to... These. We're going to drop down to the scorpions, which are the size two, 21, 13, 16. Little bit of less, but remember, even at um, you know s that that amount, what is that, 84? Um, even at 84 of a difference, it really does mean something. Um, so let's go back. Go back into a little Vanswarm here. Now I don't know, uh, Sykes. If that's the only, Sykes asked on Twitch, are rockets the only platform that give you that pip? No, they're not. Um, what it is, 
Sykes is it's two different size things that fly at different speeds when you're using fixed will give you this. And I'll show you this. And I'll, and I'll, I'll kind of, it's a good question because I'll kind of show you how it works with the auto gimbal feature um, right now. So when we're in fixed mode with auto gimbal, it gives us our rocket pip, okay? Because as of right, oops, as of right now, I am shooting my rockets and uh, my scorpions, but they're all on one. We want to put them on two. Okay, there we go. But I am, you know, I am shooting all, all these at this guy in fixed mode, so we get that. But as soon as I do this, whoa, that's also changing. I need to change that hotkey because my gimbal uh, is a change a target hockey but um, as you can see when we get close when, we, when, we're, when it's in a straight line when they they'll, they'll even up to that but you see it, it's the square and the circle when they meet they make the crosshair when the square and the circle meet they make the crosshair so it's two different types of weapons square and circle converging together to give you that you see that now, with this, I can aim at... Now, the rockets, I believe, are the square. So I, or, I'm sorry, the uh, circle. So I can kind of aim my ballistics at, this, at the uh, circle, as it were, and try to fire the rockets that way, because auto, of course, will just hit the square. So you can kind of aim the rockets at the uh, circle if you want to in this mode, like that. Um, that was a rocket kill. Just aimed at the circle. Um, so in that mode, you really want to aim at the circle and just let the the bullets hit the square, and then fire the rockets at the circle when you can. And that's how it works. Oh, we want to test, we want to show you some other thing too. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, no, they're not. When Singes came out, they had a pip direction. They removed or bugged pip, but when it did have a pip, if you put one singe, yeah. Yeah. Um, it just has to do with a, a different type of weapon. Square, circle, or singe, I guess it is. Um, that converge together to create that. And that's what I have. I have a square and a circle because my ballistics are a square, my rockets are a circle, and in fixed autoconvergence naturally turns them both into one pip. So with autoconvergence, you get the crosshair. And that's the way that works. So if I'm using two size three panzers and one size three scorp, and they're fixed, yes. Yes, Sykes, you'll probably get that pip if, if you're using fixed setup. No gimbal. You just need a square and a circle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just need a square and a circle to meet. And then you get that. Also in the PU, um, as I was saying, that kind of kind of range matters. So like this is best case scenario for auto gimbal, by the way. So I'm going to kind of get in there as close as I can and when it turns green I'm gonna start firing and you're gonna start seeing hits start landing around 1500 1400 okay in the PU this is cut by half so you're you're getting hits like really good hits closer 